Hey everybody, it's PJ here with PJ's Odds and Ends once again. This is video blog number two. Um, I just wanted to post and kind of follow up on our wine bottle build, uh, build the wine bottle holder that we just did last week. Um, I got some great comments and great feedback, and and uh, I, I didn't really get any negative feedback, but so I can't I can't imagine that's that's right, you know, because I'm not any good at this. So uh, feel free to let me know anything you think I could have done better. Um, I, I've been working on the camera angles a lot. I've been working on on uh, editing a lot and trying to trying to trim down. Um, but I, you know, I still enjoy when I watch a woodworking video, I enjoy seeing the cutting process and seeing all the little pieces that go in. So if it's an eight or 10 minute video and I get to see all those little bits or it's five or six minute video and all I see is, you know, a bunch of two second shots of things, I prefer the, 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 the little longer video. So but that's my personal preference and I'm not the one that has to watch these. So, uh, feel free to let me know what you think on that. Um, also I wanted to mention that, um, one of the issues I ran into with, with doing that video, um, I actually, when I was in the last stage sanding down the, the wine bottle holder to prepare it for finish, there was some sap that started seeping out uh, as I was sanding. Um, I don't know if I hit a pocket of sap or something like that. And I've never really experienced sap in, in two by fours before, particularly not from a home center. Um, not that, not that home center wood is good by any stretch of the imagination. It's not, it's just, I've never really had that happen before. And, uh, I'm curious if any of you ever had that happen before and how you dealt with it. Um, it didn't really hurt the finish in this case, but that's because the way the patterns kind of fell in the in the uh, wood grain after the glue up, it just kind of looks like it's part of the pattern. But um, in the future, I'd like to know how you guys maybe handle that. Uh, I also want to mention that I now have a Keek account. I think I mentioned that in the last blog. I'm not 100% positive, but um, come over there and follow me. It's, it's a lot like Twitter, um, but with videos instead of text. So... You know, you only have 140 characters in tweet in tweets to use to say whatever you want to say. In Keek, you only have 36 seconds to do whatever video you want to post. So um, I know that a lot of the fellow woodworkers out there are using it to show, uh, especially people that have YouTube videos and YouTube channels. Um, they try to edit the videos that they put on the YouTube channel down to a reasonable, digestible amount. But then they post a lot of Keek updates while they're making that, that project that they're building that show you a lot of in-progress shots you would normally see. So I really enjoy it. And uh, come on over there and follow me. It's PJ's Odds and Ends is the username. You can also search on hashtags like you can on Twitter, which is really nice. So, for example, Laney Shaughnessy is in the middle of building a table saw base. And so he's posting hashtag table saw base at the end of all of his keeks that um that deal with that project so you can search on it and see all the videos it's it's really it's really pretty neat so uh, i'd love it if you guys came over signed up and followed me on keek follow all the other good work woodworkers you see on these youtube channels a lot of them have keek accounts and the keek account link for me is in the description please make sure to read the descriptions any links or anything like that uh i'm going to try to always have there as well as any information that you need you know a lot of questions that people ask in the comments for all these videos, a lot of times are, asked, are answered in the description. So check out the description. Um, I wanted to ask also you guys' opinion on something, and I'm kind of wanting to do it kind of like a vote. So either um, you know post on the Facebook page, PJ's Odds and Ends, or post in the comments down here on YouTube. I'd prefer on the Facebook page, but either one's fine. Um, I'd really like to hear what you guys like, kind of vote on what you'd like to see next. I mentioned in the last video blog that I had a couple of projects that I wanted to do that were small. The wine bottle holder was one of them, and then some bookends and uh, um, a little change tray. And uh, I still plan on doing those. I'm going to do those videos. I just don't know if they're the next ones I want to post. I want to know what you guys want to see. Some of the other options I've been thinking of are um, I'd like to get started on my mini lathe. There's not a lot. I haven't seen anybody really make one of those yet, um, and the, the plans look solid. Uh, they're shop note plans, and so and I'd like a lathe. So I'd really love to start that one. But I also desperately need a new table saw station um, because I'm going to combine my two table saws into one station. Long story, but anyway. Um, but Laney is doing a table saw station right now as well, and I don't want to overlap our content like that. So um, let me know what you guys might want to see. Simple, difficult, whatever. Um, i got to do some shop furniture, so be thinking on that. I've also got to do some regular furniture. Let me know what you want to see me try, try to build. Try being the operative word there. And uh, you know, I, I don't think I'll ever post any videos where I just completely fail at the project, but a lot of times it's not going to turn out the way I want it to just because I'm not uh, a real skilled woodworker yet. So 
Um, it might be a good learning experience for everybody. So please let me know what you'd like to see me try. Um, I'm also getting into SketchUp here lately, trying to, you know, get do the right thing and design out first before I start building. So I think what I'm going to start doing is, as I begin doing that, I'll start posting my plans uh, generally for free um, that I'm using for any of these projects. Now, if I do put a just a ton of work into something and it's real intricate, something you know, a lot like John did at iBuild.ca or Matthias at wood, WoodGears.ca, um, they have a lot of intricate machinery that they build uh, with wood, and they charge for those plans, which I'm on totally on board with. That's a lot of work they went through. So if I end up, you know, designing anything or doing anything quite that complex, there may be some paid plans on my site in the future. But for now, everything will will be free that I post. Um, so uh, it's going to take me a while, and that's one of the other reasons I want to put off the table saw workstation because that's the first thing I'm going to be doing in SketchUp, and uh, or at least the first actual major project I'm going to do in SketchUp, and it's going to take me a while to uh, to get the hang of it. So um, I also will be posting, uh, you know, I've got my projects, then I've got the video blogs. Um, I'm going to be starting a another little bit of videos where I do little tips. Um, they could be do-it-yourself tips, they could be shop tips, but you know, little blips. I'm going to try to make them like maybe a minute, two minutes long. Um, and, and cause I can post those a lot. I might even just do them as keeks. So, uh, give me some feedback on what you think of that idea. Um, I've got a few around the house that I know that I've just encountered today. The things that I realize I do all the time that maybe not everybody does. So, um, be on the lookout for those and join me over on keek. I may actually make those keek exclusive just to get some people to go over there and, and watch on keek. So that's all I got for you today. Uh, also one other thing, make sure to Wish Matt Vanderlist from Matt's Basement Workshop a happy birthday. Today is his birthday, and uh, I really appreciate everything he does. He's got a great site out there. Please visit his website, mattsbasementworkshop.com. Uh, you might also recognize him as part of the Wood Talk podcast that uh, the Wood Whisperer puts on. And uh, really great guy, really great woodworker. So check out his stuff. And um, also visit his Amazon affiliate link on his site, or any of his affiliate links on his site, and try to keep, you know, he spent a lot of money on his new website, um, through a Kickstarter campaign and other means. So it'd be really nice if you can support him. Uh, most of us have some kind of linking system on our websites. And uh, just bear in mind, a lot of us do this content for free. Um, and, and that's how we kind of recoup our costs that we put into it and try to make the videos better. So um, it'd be great if you guys could could click on those links. I have one, an Amazon link on my side as well. So um, I think that's about it. Everybody have a great day and we'll see you later.